What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 10.3.3, 10.3.2, 10.3.1, and even iOS 10.3 on 64-bit devices starting from the iPhone 5S going up to iPhone 6S Plus. Now, the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 8, 8 Plus, and 10 are not supported for the moment by this jailbreak, maybe in the future. We're talking about Goblin. Now, this jailbreak has been released like two days ago, but it's still work in progress, so that's the reason I didn't to, you know, hurry up to make a video on it because I wanted to see if it works fine. And I received quite a lot of feedback that it does indeed work fine since I do not have a 10.3.3 that is supported, so I couldn't test myself. I have an iPhone 7 Plus, which is on 10.3.3, so it's not supported. But anyways, apparently it works fine. So let's see what are the limitations, what you can do with this jailbreak, and finally, I'm going to show you how to install it. So. Uh, it has been created by Sticktron and XPrix uh, in here. This one that I'm going to show you and the IPA has been created by XPrix, which is Benjamin on Twitter. You can follow him in here. This is his profile and this is the tweet in which he announces the IPA and the jailbreak. But it's made on top of the project uh, Goblin created by Sticktron. So both of them should be credited for this work. And uh, Sticktron recommends this only for developers. Even though it is stable enough for the moment, you should still be careful what you're doing and um, it's still recommended for developers, but you can try it if you know how iOS works or if you're not afraid of, you know, messing something up. But anyways, it's still a work in progress. Now, uh, what works and what doesn't? As I said, this only works on um, A9 devices and uh, lower. The iPhone 7 Plus that I have, for example, is an a10 chip which means it's not supported so yeah but what works well there is tfp0 which is task for pad uh, there is kernel read and write access remounting the uh, root partition as read and write mfi is patched it starts an ssh server uh, listening to that port and there's command line tools the substrate works and Cydia can install tweaks. What doesn't work? Well, GUI applications that need to root privileges are experiencing a sandbox error for the moment. Filesa is one of them, but Filesa can be fixed by applying the same extra entitlement given to Cydia. So that's pretty much it. You can download the project itself in here on this uh, fork and compile it if you do not trust the IPA, but Benjamin also provides the IPA file. So, um, if you want to download the IPA file, you press in here and you need to press view raw and uh, it's going to automatically try to download or you can press download in there uh, and it's going to download. That's pretty much how you get it. Um, don't get it from stick trunk because uh, it's it's the same project, but it's not complete in here. Um, Xprex or um, Benjamin made a couple of modifications that you can actually see. Um, if you take a look on the differences between the original project from Sticktron and his in here. So uh, this one is the link is going to be in the description down below if you decide to try it. But again, it's recommended for developers. So um, once you have the IPA, how you deploy it? Well, the uh, classic case of Cydia Impactor. You have to take this and of course drag and drop the IPA into Cydia Impactor and sign in. So let me do that. And of course, it's going to do this. You're going to see uh, the application being deployed to the device. You will probably get an error at some point, but you can actually skip that one if it's this error in here. If there are any other errors, it's probably something else. But if you have this particular error in here, not plist string, then you can simply press OK, ignore the error, and just go ahead on the device, and you should have the app installed. So let me actually go ahead on the device and show you what's going on. All right, so I am on the uh, device. This is the jailbreak application called Goblin. You open it and it looks like this. It uh, has some crediting part, tells you the uh, compatible devices. And you have the big jailbreak button that you would have to press and you have the console down there telling you what's currently going on. And of course, printing out the, um, the kernel information. Now, as I said, this device is an A10, so rats. It's not supported by um, by Goblin for the moment, as Goblin supports A7 through A9, which is iPhone uh, 6s Plus and lower. Therefore, if you do have, though, a device that is supported, you can press jailbreak now and be jailbroken. You will have to re-sign, though, this jailbreak every seven days uh, if you don't have a developer account that is paid, because uh, it's still a uh, semi-untethered jailbreak, which does require it to be um, re-signed 
with CDI Impactor. So yeah, it's not untethered. If you press the uh, I button in there, you have the settings, which says force reinstall bootstrap. So if you have problems with any of the binaries or CDI not starting anymore and you have to fix them, you can uh, enable this uh, toggle in there, press save, and it will force reinstall the, uh, the packages once it, um, it jailbreaks again. So it's a uh, safety feature in there. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys, that's how you jailbreak iOS 10.3.3, 64-bit, iOS 10.3.2, 10.3.1 and 10.3. It's finally here, the jailbreak for this, it's still a work in progress, it's still intended for developers, but you should be safe if you do not do, you know, terribly bad stuff like modifying system files and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. Activate the notifications once you subscribe so that you can get the news once I post them. And uh, till the next time, I'm Geo Snow signing out.